Welcome to SNN. Today is the 7th of January, 2013. It's a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. It's a big day in politics today. That's right. On this day in 1789, America's first presidential election was held. Voters cast ballots to choose state electors. Now, this part may make some of you mad, so just remember, we are rep reporting the news. So who had the right to vote? Only white men who owned property were allowed to vote. As expected, George Washington won the election and was sworn into office on April 30th, 1789. As it did in 1789, the United States still uses the electoral college system established by the U.S. Constitution. Which today gives all American citizens over the age of 18 the right to vote for electors. Who in turn vote for the president. The president and vice president are the only elected federal officials chosen by the electoral elector. Electoral College instead of by direct popular vote. I think everyone would agree we should all vote for giving, the giving away of more smensels. Excellent. For that, we need Mr. Smith and Mr. Williams. I mean, Mr. Williams. You. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Good morning. Good Trying morning, students. Trying to get cord around the table here. Okay, I got it. All right. Do we have it's any good. words it's of good. wisdom this morning? No, it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you expecting me to come up with All words of right. wisdom on Monday Sorry, morning? Come on. on the spot. Okay, here we go. Let's just give away some stencils, shall we? Danilo K. Woo! Let's ping pong. Oh, ping pong. Brandon Junt. Woo! Ben Kutsar. Alex Neal. Woo! Carter Manley. Ethan Aiton, although I almost threw this one back because at the bottom it says "Go Huskies," so mm. you know, Miss, you know, Mr. Smith. <laughs> everyone's entitled to their opinion, even if it's wrong. That's correct. <laughs> Miranda Eichner, who says hi. Alea Mays. <laughs> Brian Hannon. <laughs> and Will Cooper. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Smith and Mr. Williams. <laughs> when magicians write out their daily tasks, they're called ta-da lists. Get it? Ta-da! <laughs> oh, dear. We invite all of you to show your resolutions on the paper outside the LMC. You can write a resolution if you choose. Or share a favorite memory from 2012. Use your own pencil, pen, or marker. Be courteous and appropriate. <laughs> There's a top 10 list of New Year's resolutions. We'll count them down over the next 10 days. Number 10 on that list is to get organized. Organization can be a very reasonable goal. Number 9 on that list is to help others. Volunteering is so easy too. It can be as simple as helping out a teacher or doing something each day for someone else. Exercise that muscle of giving your time. Exactly. Now's the time to set those goals. Share your 2012 memories or 2013 resolutions. Or both. Ta-da! How about a phone in today? We haven't done a plan or pursuit question in a while. Okay, do you have one? What is this week's character trait as noted in our planner? Call with your answer. The number is 78293. Be the first. Let's talk about volleyball. Our very own Sky Ridge Volleyball dominated the league and tournament by capturing both league titles and tournament championships. Not only are they known for being undefeated, which is awesome, but also for having great sportsmanship. On and off the court, Volleyball Skyhawks were commended for being positive and friendly to all. Ready to go, Sky Ridge. If you enjoyed some extra reading material over the break, this is a reminder that their due date is, well, today, actually. Make a point of getting those books returned or renewed. Also, put it in your planner. Knowledgeable starts on February 4th. You must get your paperwork turned into Mrs. Button in the main office. You know, there's a variety show coming up on the last day of January. Have you signed up yet? The variety show needs some unique, unusual, different, entertaining acts. Make sure it's entertaining and fun. Lip syncing is not an option. Sign-ups continue today in the main office. There, this is a reminder about Thoroughly Modern Millie auditions coming up tomorrow through Thursday. Got that, everyone? Thoroughly Modern Millie auditions on January 8th through the 10th in the choir room. Questions? Talk to Miss Manzo. If you have your planner handy, add the following events. Friday, January 11th is the GOB Finals Assembly at 1.30. Then, Tuesday, January 15th, it is time for the Winter Ames Web Oral Reading Fluency Sweep. Monday, January 21st is, Mar is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Day, and there is no school. 
Then there are two late start days coming up on the 30th and 31st. How about an answer to that fun question? Resourcefulness was the answer. It's the character trait listed on the left side of page 52. Who answered it correctly? The winner is Ben Parker from uh, Mr. Miss Becker's class. Cubby bears and some fake bucks are heading your way. Today's thought, feelings are everywhere. Be gentle. Be sure to follow the sky code, which means be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. Have a marvelous Monday. This has been Henna and Shelby. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.